Anyways, okay, I know how, how I'm going to do this, because uh, I had a very specific rule when going through this, at least in the first part. Alright, so I guess I should introduce the part, because I've kind of been talking about things. This is the labyrinth. We're in the labyrinth. And let me tell you something, I'm not looking forward to the labyrinth. Uh, but, you know, November, she's here. Where is November? Yes, I am here. So I have a general rule for, like, these first couple of parts. It's, uh, it's the left rule. Because I, I like to think at some point I, I, I dig Beyonce's song Irreplaceable. I'm not familiar with... I, she I, says I, to the left to the left a lot. Uh, also, we got, we got those Mandarin characters. Now, uh, if you step while they're, while they're under you, they hurt you. They lash out their tongues because their hands are lips. Much oh. like much like that one boss, you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very disturbing in my opinion, but that's not the real reason why we're here. The real reason why we're here is to go into this room. Uh, also, I should probably bring up one thing. We are making our own map. Oh. We're not given a map. We get to make our own map. Interesting. Yeah, but it's also a little confusing in the way that it's portrayed. So, um, I'm really not going to try to focus on it too much. I'm going to say I got the great knife. And that is what oh, you're thinking. Man. It's it's a two-folded weapon. I can't believe that. Yeah, this is where this is where you get Also, the angle is very creepy in that room. I, I have is. to bring that up. It's it's holy shit. It just just take out the the sword. I I can't I can't I can't kill these things. I want you to know that. No, I know. Uh But, but if you take it out of drag, it gets here. Do they? Yeah, I think so. If you turn off your light and you just take the sword and you drag it. If you do that from now on, all the monsters will run, run away from you. If you keep your light off and you drag it. I mean, if I get hit, I, I'm, I'm just... I'll know in a second. Nope, I got hit. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, um, yes, it doesn't work for that one, but I know with the regular monsters it does. Well, I will tell you this. Uh, something I like to do with a great knife is I like to, I like to incapacitate enemies until they uh, until they're on the ground and then finish them off with the great knife because it it works really well. Uh, I don't like using the great knife in the sense that it's really slow in terms of how you move. Yeah, but it, if you like hit the run button while you're dragging it on the ground and your light is off, the monsters will haul ass away from you. Well, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Uh, what I am gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna show I'm gonna combo this guy because uh, fuck fuck the enemies, fuck this guy. <laughs> He's not my friend. Okay. He's not my friend. That's Angela's knife. That's the wrong knife. And. He ran away. away. Well, you know what? I'm gonna test out your theory. Actually, you does run, it? Run, like... No. Well, I mean, like you can see that, right? Yeah, I don't know why. I've seen it before, though, where people drag it and they run. And the. Well, I mean, uh, this might. Well, he's avoiding me, so you know, who knows? But I uh, know, but they like they well, visibly ran away. I don't know why it's. Well, I'm going to say this. Uh, it's it's a very slow weapon, so I don't want to drag this out longer than it has to. Yeah, I'm just going to say uh, that that's 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 that. that That's great knife. I failed to show it off properly, but you know, who knows? Maybe I'll actually get redemption when it comes down to it. Maybe. I can't... I hate that they crawl on the floor. Yeah, they're even worse when they crawl. They are. I can't guarantee you I'll be able to properly show it off, but who knows, maybe if I try it sometimes, I might just succeed. Anyways, I don't know what I'm getting at. My point is, this is uh, this is the labyrinth. It's a very slow part. I'm not a fan of it. There's a bunch of lying figures, and I mean, it's going to be very prominent. They're here. Uh, normally, I'd say, I missed you. I haven't seen you in, like, forever, but honestly, it feels like it's been too soon. This is a pretty annoying puzzle, but I kind of know the solution, because uh, I've done it before. So, if I'm correct, I think that's it. Oh, I'm smart. Uh, so, if you don't know, that head basically turns this room. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Yeah, and so I just basically skipped to the solution because I don't think anyone really cares if I prolong this part. Don't need it. I do have a question, but it pertains to this cutscene. Well, then let's see the cutscene first. Yeah. Oh, this. I've been wondering what, when we were going to finally get to this You're scene. You're alive? Maria, I, I thought that thing killed you. Are you are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria. That thing. It stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It, it chased us to the elevator and, and then James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey. Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... I don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Just stay right there. I'll be there soon. Can we all agree that his motivation is that he may possibly bang Maria? Yes. That was that's definitely like that that's his motivation right now to go find Maria like e e the possibility of sex. Yeah. That uh, that definitely seems to be his motivation to me. Yeah, I mean like that that's what I got and I mean like I know I brought up a lot of the sexual frustration but I feel like here right there that's that's a very iconic scene and I mean like I I feel like that that's it. What's really interesting, though, is that she brings up a memory that that is, without a doubt, Mary's. Is it Mary's or James? No, it's it's well, it's arguably both. Yeah. Uh, but the point is, is that she's the way she phrases it. It's as if it's from Mary's perspective. Uh, I could see that. Uh, however, at the same time, she says, "Well, I'm not your Mary." Yeah. Okay, so he's like, so you are Maria. I am if you want to be. So that creates an interesting, the I am if I, if you want to be. I'll be what you want. It it comes off very... Uh, Sexualized. Slutty, yeah. yeah. It, it, I was going to say, she she's a prostitute. That That's all there is to it. Anyways, the real labyrinth is this right here. It's, it's not fun. I don't like it. Um... I have two main rules, and then I forget the rest of how I did this, but I'm pretty sure for the most part, it, all I really did was I took the first available, uh, first available ladder, so to speak, because, I mean, that that's really all I, all I think I have to go on this. Even in my notes, I kind of just didn't really give a shit. I just, I was like, I was done. I was done. I didn't want to be in... This whole entire, this whole entire situation, labyrinth is bullshit. In fact, I have a feeling if I was in Silent Hill, this this would be my uh, this would be my punishment right here. I'd have to go through a massive long labyrinth, and there'd be like spooky things trying to chase me. There's a bunch of stuff. I, I did a quick Google search of Silent Hill 2 philosophy, and there's a lot of people that are, like, discussing philosophy, different... Oh, I believe it. There's a lot. 
there's a. I feel like the thing about Silent Hill, you, there's a lot to be desired and a lot of interpretations you can really make. Yeah. Uh, that said, damn it, that wasn't what I was trying to say. That said, uh, fuck the labyrinth. I'm sorry. I don't like this part. I, I might be a little pissed off, but I mean, that's just because all this. Oh, you got handgun bullets. That could be a good side. That could also be a bad side. Because supposedly, handgun bullets are, are a sign that you may be getting close to finishing up the labyrinth. And as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that's about what's going to happen. I hear there's another set of handgun bullets, so... You know, take with that as you will, but I did it. I navigated the labyrinth. That was the most bullshit part. It's done. I guess I was good enough to figure it out. Also, here we here's a little bit of backstory on Angela. We haven't seen okay. her in a while. So the newspaper on the ground. Yeah. Stained with something, something that looks something like, like, like blood. blood. It probably is. And partially illegible, okay. It's going to be one of these. A uh, man later identified as Thomas Blank. Or Roscoe. Jack, age... Blank. 39, yeah. Uh, was discovered on the... Uh, I, I want to say bathroom. Lying... Lying face... Yeah, probably face down. Uh, the problem caused a death as multiple stab wounds. So, you know, pretty brutal, really, when you get down to it. Uh, front of the neck and the left side of the torso. Between 11 p.m. and midnight, so, you know, it, it happened very late at night. Due to signs of struggle in the room, the lack of murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Okay. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched, Mr. Ros... I think it's a Rosco. I don't know. Point... It's a history of drunken violence. The police... Uh... I'm not really sure, to be honest. Something. I'm, I'm not what may, sure what were the place that ends yeah. with ECT. But I, I think what we can that gather is that he's had a history with uh, the police. The objective was not we, robbery and a crime of passion. That's it. Passion? Is it objection? It starts with an O. Crime of Oh, oh I, okay. I see what you're saying. Sorry, I was thinking it was one word. I didn't. I didn't even consider that it was broken up. See, that's the hard part because it's it's partially illegible. Yeah, and it's interesting that they phrase it as a crime of passion. Yeah. Passion doesn't necessarily have to mean just romantic. Just no, no. It, it, you it, can it, get in the heat of the moment. It, it crime of passion can generally mean any excess of emotion. Mm hmm I mean, like, if you ask me, there was definitely some emotion. Uh, also, if you couldn't piece together the last name. I don't care if this is a spoiler. That's Angela's father. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the reason why... Daddy, please don't. Oh, I didn't even realize you were, we hadn't seen this yet. Yeah. Also, those lips. Yeah. So, we got a boss fight. I got shotgun because, uh, let's be honest, shotgun is, is pretty, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty alright. This guy will physically violate you. It's not pleasant. It, it's like that. Ew. Yeah, don't let it do that. Uh, it, it's a little hard to run this is a, a gun. It's a small room. It too. is a small room. That's, that's partially why it's a little hard to run, run a gun. That probably was a little bit of a waste. I like how there's like these indents that are kind of like pistons moving back and forth because I, I feel like it's very symbolic of things. Violation. Yeah. Oh, violation. Excellent, excellent. I, w I would agree with that wholeheartedly, 100%. Um, so, I'm sure you want to talk about it, but this thing is... Angela sees it as a representation of her father, but I'm willing to bet it's not exactly like her father per se. It's probably like a horrific... Im, like vile image of her father yeah. much like how Silent, Silent Hill has everything covered in like massive amounts of gore and flesh yeah so yeah I'm willing to bet it's it's a very horrific version of her father
I love that little detail right there. Yeah. That that's excellent. And this goes back to her being wrath. Relax. relax. And understandable wrath. Um, yeah. See, here's the thing. So what do you want? We haven't gotten to Eddie, but it's really hard to justify Eddie's Eddie's consensus on what he did as opposed to Angela, which I feel like can't can be very justified yeah. in a lot of eyes. Uh, I also feel like James also can be justified if... It, depending on the ending you yeah. get, I think, yes. Or you could just force me. I feel like the reasons what he did to Mary can also... What I'm saying is the reasons for Mary, like, I feel like you can justify those. Yeah. We'll get to that later. But there is something very important about this cutscene I wanted to kind of phrase as opposed to why I think his motivation to finding Maria is that the possibility of sex. And it's not here yet. No, but that's an interesting juxtaposition. Now that you bring that up, that's an interesting juxtaposition. His conquest for sex while she is there reeling from sexual assault. Yeah. said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar. I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I never... Notice how he stutters? Yeah. How he's not able to answer that immediately, like there's something on his mind? Yeah. I mean, that right there kind of tells me that, you know, this scene right here is the possibility that he, he's trying to bang Maria. Yeah. For lack of better terminology, I mean, that that's really, like, what, I, where I think a lot of, like, the sexual frustration is kind of amalgamating at this point. And something that's really interesting that actually brought to mind in that scene is that even in the good ending, even in the 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 best ending that you can get, where it shows that Mary asks that he kill her. Does he? She does. In the, oh. in the best possible ending that you can get, there's two endings. There that are very similar. One, it just shows him killing her, mm -hmm. and the other, it shows her asking him to kill her. Hmm. They're very similar, and you have to be like played the game absolutely perfectly in order to get oh. that the best ending but um well i'm sorry i don't think we're getting that one the the weird thing is though is that even in that best ending yeah it kind of excuses his actions mm -hmm. but you still don't necessarily see his motivation yeah you don't see if his motivation was truly to help his wife or was I, it to get out of his situation yeah i hate to interrupt you but we have to end the part okay yeah it, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm sorry, this has been a long part. Yeah. Uh, there is something, this is going to be relevant to the next part. So we will see you then while we take care of that.